mwaka huu katika kutimiza katika kusherehekea miaka 20 ya ZIF tuna vitu vikubwa viwili ambavyo tumevianzisha ambavyo ni vipya kimoja ni soko filamu ambayo ni soko maalum kwa ajili ya film na TV content na cha pili kikubwa ni film schools sisi katika zifu tunaamini kwamba film schools ni, 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 ni foundation ya film industry kwa hiyo kwa kuwawezesha na kuwa train na kuwapa nafasi wanafunzi ambao wako katika vyuo vinavyofundisha film kukutana na watu ambao wako katika tasnia yao itawapa wao urahisi zaidi na nafasi nzuri ya wao kuingia kwenye industry moja kwa moja maana yake watakuwa wamefahamu lakini pia tumeo, katika zifu mwaka huu tumeona kwamba kuna tatizo la pale watu ambao wanatengeneza content zao lakini hawana mahali pa kupauza ndio maana mwaka huu kwa mara ya kwanza tumeanzisha film and television content market ambayo kwa kuanzisha kwetu tu imechukuliwa kiukubwa sana na ndio maana tumewapata discop kwa ajili ya mwakani ambapo tayari wanaichukua rasmi soko la soko filamu kwa zif kuanzia mwakani kwa hivyo utakuja kugundua ni vitu vikubwa viwili ambavyo tunavifanya mwaka huu lakini katika kwa mara ya kwanza katika miaka 20 tamasha hili linapata kufunguliwa na filamu ya kitanzania T Junction ambayo imetengenezwa na mtanzania Amel Shift ilo jambo la kujivunia. Kwa hiyo utaangalia pia kwa mara ya kwanza tumekuwa na awards nyingi za kifedha ambapo ile Golden Dow ya Zif itapatiwa dola 3000. Kuna tuzo zingine nyingi, tuzo za mziki ambazo zinatolewa na Tracy, kuna tuzo la wanawake ambao uh, wanafanya film, special documentary, itatolewa tuzo ya dola 2000. Kuna Sembene Usmane ambayo inatolewa dola 6000 kwa filamu tatu fupi fupi kwa hiyo kuna awards nyingi ambazo zimetolewa za kifedha kwa hiyo utakuta mwaka huu katika kusherekea miaka 20 tumejaribu kuwa tofauti kidogo kwa hiyo tunafurahi kwamba ni miaka 20 tunasherekea lakini tumeongeza vitu vikubwa zaidi na pia bila kusahau uh, mwaka huu tunafanya mnajua tamasha la zifu ni tamasha la nchi za jahazi kwa hiyo bila ngalawa bila mbio za ngalawa haliwezi kuwa tamasha la nchi za jahazi kwa mwaka huu tunafanya ngalawa mara mbili mara moja uh, katika ufungwe wa Kendwa Beach na pia mara ya pili tutafanya Stone Town. Kwa hiyo tunawakaribisha sana kwa sababu mwaka huu tuna vitu vingi sana na kuna workshop nyingi sana kwa ajili ya film. Kuna kila haja ya kusherekea kwa sababu si rahisi matamasha kufikia umri kama huu na si matamasha mengi hasa barani Afrika yalofikia umri huu. I just said that it's not easy to reach 20 years. Uh, 20 years is an important age and not many festivals have reached at the age of 20, especially in our continent in Africa. I know the other the other festivals who, who have invited me, some of them have celebrated golden ju jubilees, some of them diamond jubilees, but uh, in Africa not many of them. So we are very proud and uh, we are proud to celebrate it together with you because you are our partners all of you whoever has attended here whoever has sponsored whoever has supported zip in the last 20 years is part of this success is a partner to this success without you we wouldn't have reached here me i'm celebrating my 50th year as a, as a chairman this year so it's my fifth festival as a chairperson so a quarter of 20 is is my personal celebration Uh, thank you very much for your support. I'll not go deep into the program because uh, everything has been organized to be spoken and said about the program. But I will call out for more support for our festival. For more support for Zif. For more support for the arts, film, drama, the whole industry in Africa. We need to do more. We are blessed with a lot of wealth but we are doing very little with the blessing that we have very little i was reading a magazine on my way here it is about agriculture and it says how much tanzania is blessed with land and how much of that land is fertile and how much of that fertility is being used i don't want to tell you the figures because it looks like 
those guys who are, who are in the desert planting tomatoes, they are laughing at us. So in art, drama, film, all aspects of talents, I am sure we are blessed. We are blessed as Tanzanians, we are blessed as East Africans, we are blessed in the region. And this is a platform for that blessing to be seen and promoted. So with your support, with your partnership, and to all the sponsors, we really thank our sponsors because they are the ones who have made us be here and celebrate 20 years. And with your support, we'll celebrate many more years to come. But the most important is to use this platform to showcase the talent, the products that we have. I was looking at other festivals. I think we, are, we have a lot to show. Um, we are really, really happy at Kinyuri Productions to have this opportunity to not only be chosen to play at the Zanzibar International Film Festival, but to open it. Uh, when we were first told that this is the first time a Tanzanian film is doing it, we were so surprised and shocked and also felt really... Naito Ahmed Shifji kutoka Kidiwani Productions, ni mkurugenzi wa Kidiwani Productions ambao ni kampuni wa film and video hapa Dar es Salaam. Na pia ni lecturer pale chuo kikuu cha Dar es Salaam, chini ya idara ya sanaa. Kazi za Kidiwani kwa ujumla ni bongo mufi. Maana sisi tunavyolewa bongo mufi ni dina la tasnia. Tukiongelea kusu aina ya filamu au hali ya filamu au uzuri wa filamu ni kitu tofauti kwa sababu unaanza kuichambua kuikosoa ni sawa lakini sisi pia tunatengeneza bongo movie kwa sababu bongo movie ni jina la filamu ambayo inatengenezwa Tanzania na wa Tanzania sasa kuna kuwa na bongo movie nzuri bongo movie mbaya kuna kuwa na bongo movie ya kutisha bongo movie ya mapenzi na kadhalika kwa sisi cha kwanza cha msingi ni tunatengeneza bongo movie kuhusu tofauti ya yeah, Utafauti upo, of course, kwa sababu kila mtu atakuwa na story yake, anavyo hadithi ambayo anachagua, anavyo hadithia, inakuwa tafauti, kila mtu hadithia kwa, kwa namna yake na kwa uwezo wake. Na pia, of course, kuna kuwa na mamu mengine, kwa sababu hadithi peke yake siyo story, ni, ni unavyo shoot, unavyo tumia camera, unavyo edit, unavyo tumia muziki, unavyo tumia sauti. Kwa hiyo kuna mambo mengi sana ambayo yanapitia kwenye bongo movie, kwenye filamu, kwa ujumla kwenye sinema. Na Kijuri Productions huwa tafanga kazi na watu wengi. Sio mtu mmoja mbana fanga kila kitu. Mimi huwa naandika na, na direct. Na mara nyingi na produce, na tegemea. Lakini cinematographer na kuwa tafauti, editor tafauti, sound mixer tafauti, sound designer tafauti. Na kadhalika kwa hiyo tuna team zuri ambayo wanafanya kazi kwa uwezo wao na kwa kipacha hali ya juu. Kuna filamu ambazo zimetengenezwa wa Tanzania mwaka F1 sita mama tumaini. Kuna filamu ya mangamizi. Hizi ni filamu ambazo walitumia celluloid. Kitu ambacho leo ningependa sana mimi kama Amil, kama kidiyo ningependa kutumia. Laki sina, siwezi kwa sababu sina uwezo wa kulipia celluloid. Lakini walikuwa natumia zamani. Sa hivi watu nasema 4K cameras, 4K technology. iPhone ina shoot 4K. Unaweza ukanua camera nzuri, uka shoot na camera nzuri, uka shoot na technology ya ali ya juu, lakini kama huna story, kama huna maudhui, kama huna jinsi ya au kujua unavyotaka kupanga shot, kupanga filamu, basi utabake kuwa unahadisi ya kitu ambacho haigusi wananchi, haigusi watu wataza maji ambao unawalenga. Kwa cha muhimu ni kwamba lazima ujue na chukitaku kufanya, unamlenga nani, hadisi inambusa nani, alafu na tunazo tukangulea kuhusu teknolojia. Hasa tukienda duniani, hasa tukitaka kuhusu soko la duniani kwenye matamasha. Huko nje, of course, teknolojia ni muhimu, wanaangulea composition zako, shots, framing, etc. Lakini pia wanaangulea hadithi. Wanataka wasikilize hadithi impia, wanataka wajue jamii, jamii yako ikoje, wewe unavyo angalia jamii yako, kwa, kwa, kwa mauni yako, unavyo kosoa jamii. Wataka wajue kwa sababu hao hawajui kuhusu sisi na sisi hatujui hatu, kuhusu wao lakini tunajua kuhusu jamii yetu kwa hiyo vipi tunaiangalia vipi tunaiweka kwenye taswira unaona na nadhani hii ndio muhimu kwa ushauri wangu ni kwamba jamani tutafute stories ambazo huwa mara nyingi tunazipitia kila siku tunazipitia kwenye daladala kwenye video yenu kwenye barazani lakini tuzichukue afu tuzisimulie kupitia sinema pia sababu hapo pia kuna umuhimu mimi ni mzoe wazifu wa siku nyingi na pia nadhani ni muhimu sana uwepo wazifu kwa sababu Kitu kibaya ni kwamba hapa Afrika, japo kuwe tunazahadithi nyingi, na hata tunatenza filamu nyingi, zinafika nje lakini kuzirudi nyumbani azirudi. Kwa hiyo mimi kuangile filamu kutoka Senegal, inabili niende France, au niende Ujermani, ninge kwenye mashala la Afrika, niangile filamu kutoka Senegal. Lakini hapa Tanzania, sita pata na kala ya filamu hiyo kutoka Senegal. Lakini kwenye ZIF, naweza nika upata. Kwenye ZIF, filamu kutoka Senegal, kutoka Mali, kutoka Afrika Kusini, kutoka Misri, kutoka sem nyingi sana, zinafika ZIF. Kwa tunapata na fasi ya kuangalia wenzetu pa, wanafanya nini, wanatumia camera vipi, wanasimulia hadithi ya inagani. Kwa nadhani huo ni nafasi nzuri kwetu pa ZIF, kutana filmmakers kutoka nchi mbali mbali za Kiafrika na pia kutoka nje pia.
Um, kupokea tuzo ni nzuri tunasikia furaha lakini lengo letu sio tuzo lengo letu sio mashindano lengo ni kupata nafasi kuonyesha filamu yetu kwenye jukwaa kubwa sana kama ya Zif maana hata kwenye opening night kwenye uzinduzi unakuta kuna watu zaidi ya mia tano wa Zanzibari watu wa bara watu kote 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 wanafika huko na ni, ni kwangu hiyo ndio tuzo kwa yangu kuona watu wanavyofurahia filamu yangu wanavyohuzunika wanavyopata hisia nyingi kupitia filamu na hii ni tuzo kubwa sana kwa yangu